Mesdames et messieurs, Ladies bonjour. and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. I'm proud and delighted to welcome you here in the name of uh, the management team and Michelin. Uh, thank you for being uh, here in the Divan Liban, right next to the Geneva Motor Show, which will be opening its doors today. Now, I'm absolutely delighted and proud to be here with you today. Today is a special day for Michelin. I will now present to you a major innovation in the world of tires, which will provide an efficient response to many European motorists expectations. On top of that, it will demonstrate that Machining considers innovation as the cornerstone of its growth strategy. So this innovation, believe me, marks a turn point in the history of tyres. And let's discover this new Michelin tyre together. I was leaving the city, driving slowly. The road was dry. And in a heartbeat, the conditions changed completely. After a heat wave, the temperature dropped suddenly. And in a second, heavy rain fell.
weather is so unpredictable.
Voilà, mesdames et messieurs, vous venez well, de découvrir le premier tire de tire designé pour coper avec les variations climatiques. Michelin Cross Climate est littéralement le premier tire dans le monde avec un tire d'utilisation certification. Cela signifie qu'il offre les avantages d'être the benefits of a Michelin summer tire en termes de sécurité in terms of safety, en termes de longévité and longevity. Mais en même temps, il But it also offers the advantages of a winter tire in terms of motricity et de freinage and braking performance and this for all motorists hivernale. driving in wintry conditions. Des récents week Last weekend's uh, France, snow episode on the roads leading to the ski resorts in France just shows how important it is it is to have tires with this kind of performance. This major innovation has been designed to enhance daily mobility for motorists dealing with changing climate conditions. This tire specifically meets motorist requirements in terms of safety and will make their lives easier. Most consumers see seasonal tire changing as a burden and they see it as a significant budget line. Our surveys are evidence of this. Do you know 65% of European motorists use their summer tires throughout the year? They thus jeopardize their safety and the safety of other people, in particular in cold conditions when there's snow and or ice. These uh, motorists, without even realizing, are putting themselves in danger when winter arrives. We are the first to fully meet the needs of European motorists with this innovative and breakthrough tire. Now why talk about breakthrough? It's true, on the market today, you can find tires which try and attempt, and I'm really saying attempt a trade-off, between summertime and wintertime performance. Now, even though the performance of these tires, which are so-called all-season tires, are similar to that revanche, of winter tires. However, they are very poor, really very poor, compared to summer tires in terms of dry surface braking performance, longevity, and fuel efficiency. Our approach is based on a very clear and straightforward principle. All consumers have their own uses the and needs. The Michelin Cross Climate complements and expands our existing offer. Motorists who frequently drive in severe winter conditions with deep snow and ice should still use the Michelin Alpine range. I mean, you know, all know its qualities. But most consumers in Europe, and the great majority of consumers in Europe, will find a response to their needs with the Michelin Cross Climate. I think it's clear, Michelin Cross Climate merges, brings together two worlds, the world of summer tires and the world of winter tires. This achievement, well, Michelin used its research. Great teamwork has been performed and I'd really like to pay tribute to the research teams. We have carried out many lab tests, 
But of course, we performed dynamic tests in real driving conditions. And these tires traveled more than 5 million kilometers. So we're talking about going around the globe 124 times. 124 times. You can really see this ability to bring together usually uncompatible performance within the same tire. This ability to always meet technological challenges to improve the technological performance of our tires. That is really the proof of Michelin's power of innovation. We call it, as you know, Michelin Total Performance. The Michelin Cross Climate is the finest expression of this principle. In fact, we've just succeeded in putting the very best of summer and the very best of winter within a same tire. This achievement is made possible by combining innovative technologies and mainly in the field of the two crucial constituents of a tire, its architecture and its material. Obviously, we'll come back to this in detail a bit later on during the workshops that will be taking place after this introduction. The Michelin Cross Climate is perfectly, as you can see, in line with the major innovations launched by the group over the past 125 years. It actually belongs to Michelin's DNA. Remember, in 1992, the Michelin Energy line was launched. That's over 20 years ago. At the time uh, when the reduction of greenhouse gases was only just emerging. It took 10 years to develop this first green tire. This pioneering spirit is clearly our trademark. It enables us to permanently anticipate the future expectations and needs of consumers and car manufacturers. Today, we are up to the sixth generation of green tires. This amazing generation, since uh, the beginning, has saved over 17 billion, 17 billion litres of fuel, and thus avoid the emission of more than 42 million tonnes of CO2 in the atmosphere, which is huge. Today, our ND investment represents 60, 640 million euros, and which supports 6,600 experts worldwide in 350 fields of expertise. Our R&D network is powerful, is global. We are present in Europe, in France in particular, in Asia, and in America. This powerful R&D, we will be strengthening it and we will be beefing it up because we are totally convinced that at is the future of Michelin. It is one of the main sources of growth. In 2017, we will be inaugurating our new research and development center in Clermont-Ferrand, probably one of the greatest R&D centers in Europe. It will enable us to consolidate our leading position in terms of technology, and we'll be able to continue to offer ever more performing innovative ties to the market. The challenge here of global development worldwide are huge in the field of mobility. In particular, what comes to my mind is congestion of cities, but also reducing CO2 emissions. These are challenges we take on board on a daily basis, and we rise up to this through our passion for innovation. And that's how we will be able to offer a better way of moving forward to everybody. I mean, that is the raison d'etre, that has been the purpose of the group Michelin for 125 years. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. And with the team here, the floor is open to questions. Thank you.
Voilà, je suis à votre disposition avec l'équipe, avec Florent Ménégo, Claire Dorland, Thierry Chi, Jean-Claude Batz, toute l'équipe qui m'entoure. The whole team around me, we are here to answer any questions you may have. Voilà, alors je vais déjà vous dire combien il coûte, parce que c'est une bonne question. Well, I'll give you the price, because that's a good question. Il coûtera entre... You will be costing... Le niveau d'un pneu été actuel, Michelin, between, et un pneu hiver, uh, In between the price of a summer uh, tire price and a winter tire price, uh, which is good news, because considering uh, the sheer power of the technology embedded in this tire, it will be affordable. Do you want to add something? Oui, peut-être. Thierry Chis va répondre. Thierry, this tire will be launched the 1st of May this year, so very soon, in the coming months, and it will be launched throughout Europe, and it will launch as of the 1st of May. Now talking about OEs, yes, sir. Florent, you probably want to answer that to see if we've got any uh, car manufacturers who will be equipping uh, their cars. Uh, well, it's early days, however, to be able to talk about that, uh, but uh, we've got some uh, confidence. Uh, the, confidentiality agreements we've signed with major car manufacturers. Obviously, this tire uh, will be extremely interesting for fleets, but now we uh, will wait for its launch uh, to see the actual interest. Yes, gentlemen. What sizes will be covered? What uh, dimensions? Jean-Claude Batz, who uh, manages TC uh, in Europe, it will be launched the 1st of May, there will be 23 dimensions in 16, 15, 16, and 17. Florent. Florent. And we will be, in the coming years, we'll be extending uh, this to the vans, SUVs, uh, and we will be uh, beefing up uh, the range here. And that is last point uh, mentioned by Laurent. This will be taking place in 2016. What kind of speed indexes are we talking about here, Jean-Claude Thierry? Well, we'll be covering, we'll have an index, T, 15 inch, and we go up to W. So we've got a pretty broad range here. Uh, so it pretty well covers the European market. Now, don't forget, uh, we decided uh, to focus uh, on speed here. We wanted uh, to bring to the market uh, this tire as fast as possible. When I was talking about uh, the teams, uh, 350 people have focused on this uh, over the past uh, 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 three years, so you probably uh, heard this. Uh, uh, we are extremely bad because it clearly is meeting the needs of our consumers. This tire that can cover all these functions. Uh, uh, this was a latent need, it was an unmet need, uh, so we wanted to go fast. And like I said, we had uh, 6,600 people uh, at one moment actually working on this tire. Monsieur. Sir, yes. May I do that in English? Okay. Uh, we like to know the uh, best temperature where the pneumatic is, is working. So in, in winter, especially, under zero is working uh, until oh, March yeah. temperature. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Also in summer. Absolutely. Well, we'll you, we give you that. Thierry, please go ahead. So that's an excellent question. And because, as you know, the winter tires are operating best Les pneus uh, below hiver, 7 degrees, uh, uh, Celsius ont une température de fonctionnement optimale à des températures inférieures à 7 degrés, alors que les pneus euh, été fonctionnent mieux au-delà de 7. Avec ce pneu, par contre, nous avons un pneu qui fonctionne, qui fonctionne à la fois de manière optimale au-dessus de 7 degrés et à des températures inférieures à 7. Voilà la grande force de ce pneu. Et bien sûr, ça fonctionne parfaitement. Until where? How, how far down? <laughs> Let, let's test it yourself. 
Bon, I can tell you that we have Moi, je peux vous dire, nous l'avons testé à des températures de moins 30 degrés et nous sommes allés jusqu'à plus 40 degrés. Et donc, je vous encourage à essayer ce pneu. Nombreux tests que nous avons passés, not only running around the, non the, seulement the globe, à faire le tour du uh, monde, we euh, donc nous avons fait le tour du monde 124 fois, mais bien sûr dans des conditions yeah. extrêmes. Um, sorry. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, I've got a question. A question. Now, I heard that the diameters, that the sizes covered would be uh, from 15 to 17. Will you? Okay, so we're talking about private cars and then it will be developed for vans. Uh, will there, there be uh, anything adapted uh, for more uh, sporty cars, so above uh, 18 inch? Uh, so, Florent, can you answer that one? On, uh, now, uh, don't uh, mix up uh, sports cars uh, with uh, big dimensions. Well, uh, in the coming two years, we'll be uh, offering an 18-inch, but uh, for uh, really sports cars, uh, uh, we, you'll have to wait a bit more because we decided to, to focus on developing uh, initially SUV tires and also van tires. We want to immediately cover uh, the biggest parts of the European market. We want to be sure we can cover the uh, most of the European market. Yes. Now, talking about the European market, in, uh, there are a certain number of uh, European countries. Uh, that mm, uh, oblige uh, drivers to have winter tires. Does this tire meet the definition of a winter tire? Now, Jean-Claude, you can specify, but otherwise, yes, the answer is definitely yes. It's free PMF uh, in terms uh, of certification, so it perfectly meets uh, the regulation of these countries. Now, there's a small proportion of uh, motorists uh, who uh, drive drive with winter tires throughout the year. In fact, 7% of motorists uh, uh, use uh, winter tires throughout the year. Now, in Germany, uh, the figure is lower because regulation uh, forces them and obliges them to change. So this is something we can eradicate and get rid of with this cross-climate tire. Yes, sir. Uh, can you tell us where the tire will be manufactured and what kind of volume are you anticipating? It will be produced in Europe. It's a very European tire, which will be covering the whole European market as fast as possible. It will be produced in different countries. Our factories are highly specialized. The good news is it will be produced in France, and that will be as of 2016, uh, by the end of 2016, at the Cholet plant and it will be produced for the SUV sizes and the vans uh, here. And as you know, uh, this is a growing segment. So it will be produced throughout Europe and uh, in France as of 2016. Your second question? Jean? Excusez-moi, je vous ai entendu. Jean-Claude will answer the second part. Uh, this new tire uh, will uh, obviously uh, supply uh, and input our growth expectation to the coming years. Well, of course, you, you, you know the size uh, of the tire market uh, in Europe, 300 million uh, tires. Uh, the winter tires represent about 80 million tires. So you can see uh, the potential market for uh, this kind of tire. Cross climate. Yes, gentlemen. Sorry, you've got the mic. Uh, I was. Uh, what's the secret of this cross climate uh, tire? Uh, is it a new kind of uh, silica, or is it a global approach, or uh, just a new material? Now, I can tell you what I think. It's a global approach, comprehensive approach. What's extraordinary is that beyond the actual architecture of the tire, uh, the materials play a crucial role, and it's uh, the work on the material that were made. A difference here. That's what's extraordinary. We've known this for some time. The materials are crucial for tires. You know this just as well as I do. But for years now, we've been working on formulations that have led to surprising results. So it was important to bring this to the market. So the materials were crucial here. 
I don't know if you want to add. Well, in the Thai, you got a combination of three key elements, the architecture, uh, the uh, sculptures, uh, so the pattern, and then the components, so the mixes here. Now, so we're not going to provide you with the recipes of this tire because we're going to keep the recipes for ourselves. So there's great innovations in the three areas, the architecture, the components, and the patterns here. Uh, so there's not so much that we want to keep our secrets, but we do to a certain extent. Now, it's, uh, believe me, it's quite extraordinary. Yes, gentlemen? Yes. Uh, for optimal uh, winter performance, you need uh, performance uh, winter tires. Uh, en hiver, pour les pneus hiver, on conseille four mm de profil uh, so what if, uh, de bande roulante. Donc, lorsque vous utilisez ce pneu cross climat au début de l'hiver et vous il ne vous reste ah. que 4 mm, est-ce qu'il faut changer le pneu à ce moment-là Car l'été, avec 4 mm, ça suffit. Oui, c'est une excellente question. Je suis sûr que Thierry vous donnera la réponse. Merci pour cette réponse. Ça nous donne l'occasion de vous expliquer que dans ce pneu, pour la toute première fois en Europe, nous avons intégré une nouvelle technologie qui s'appelle Evergrip et qui fournit à la fois la sécurité, sécurité sur la neige, mais y compris lorsque euh, le pneu est usé. Sur le flanc, euh, vous avez des lamelles et lorsque les, ces lamelles sont usées, et le, nous ajoutons de la traction, de la prise et de la technologie Evergrip que nous avons introduit l'année dernière aux états unis Pour la première fois cette année, on l'a introduit en Europe. Et c'est tout à fait essentiel. Nous avons introduit le pneu premier en Amérique du Nord avec cette technologie. À l'époque, on avait dit when it was worn, had a better braking performance than other tires new. Well, that's the point. And we introduced that technology in that tire. So it's a tremendous combination of technologies. Yes, sir. Uh, and perhaps, oh yes, you've got the microphone. Hey. You spoke earlier about uh, longevity. When you benchmarked it against existing all-season tires, how much better is it? Thank you for the question. Uh, in terms of longevity, Florent, could you be, um, give the right? We, we uh, do our analysis against our own tires. Uh, what we can tell you is that uh, if you consider Energy Saver Plus, um, this tire will have a very similar longevity than Energy Saver Plus, which would be under different conditions much better than what you will find in old season tires. Exactly. This is really a sort of uh, sort of benchmark, it, it's, it's totally different in terms of performance and longevity than the all-season global market. It's, that's key. That's why it's, it's, it's among, you know, adding all the good performance of a summer tire and a winter tire. So thank you for the question, because it's key. Uh, I think this was another question uh, here. Oh, you've got them. Encore vous. Après, il faut tenir, monsieur. Yes, I've got a very simple question. Will there be any versions that enable the flat run? Well, maybe afterwards. Let's put it that way. I don't know if you want to answer, Florent. Well, of course, this question, we've got it in mind, but it's uh, really it's too early days to be able to answer on that particular topic. Now, honestly, we're already introducing three great technologies within this single tire. We're going to market it, and it uh, will be great. And then afterwards, uh, uh, Michelin will be able to add an additional technology. Well, we prefer to be rigorous here and to go about things step by step. Oui, monsieur, at last. Yes. The huge volume of uh, winter tires that you say you sell, would you not be killing your own bottom line with this oh. technology? No, no. That's a very good question. Uh, thank you for uh, You know, it's, it's part of Michelin's story. You never lose when you answer a request of a customer. Each time you go to what the customer wants, you win. And then we have been doing that for 125 years. So your question is quite relevant, but we have never experienced that. Always go to the customer, and that's, he will tell you what he wants, and we know what he wants. So that's the best answer I can give to your question. Thank you for asking. Oui, monsieur. 
Uh, yes, good morning. Two brief questions, because we are talking about the American market. Will this tire be launched, or a similar version be launched uh, on the North American market? And the second question, we are talking about sizes and dimensions. In terms of the weight of this tire, compared to a winter or summer tire, uh, is there a significant weight difference? Thierry, like Mr. Senar, our president said, uh, when we develop a new product, we start off with the motorists, we start off uh, with the consumers. Now, here we're talking about a tyre which is really targeting uh, European use. We've got other possible uses uh, in the United States, for example, and every year we market new tyres and we develop and design new tyres. But here we're talking about a technology which is adapted to a European use, so it's for Europe. And then in terms of weight, uh, we're talking about an equivalent weight compared to traditional uh, summer tyres. Uh, so it's a summer tyre, just a great summer tyre, which uh, completely changes uh, things. It's a breakthrough because it's providing uh, the performance of a winter tyre. Now we're talking about globalisation. Uh, but in our industry, use, uh, use and usage uh, is a key aspect, uh, and Europe is specific. There will be other usage in North America. The usage uh, is not quite the same. So obviously, we have to meet uh, needs depending on the geographic location. Yes. Uh, I would like to know, during the summer um, use, uh, because of the grip that is, of course, uh, more important than uh, the summer tire, the fuel consumption and the noise of on okay. the high speed. Thank okay. you. I will let my, my team answer that point. I hope that you will be able to test that um, at the way this afternoon. Hopefully it's not going to rain too much so that uh, dry braking will be tested normally. I'm afraid it was raining this morning that there could be some issue. But, but I hope you will be able to test that. Maybe you would like uh, Jean-Claude to answer. Well, first, in terms of noise, as you know today, there's a European standard, uh, one, two, and three waves. Uh, this product uh, has a single wave, which means it's the best uh, range. Uh, uh, there's no better performance in the field of both winter and summer tires. Then afterwards, talking about rolling uh, resistance, uh, it's uh, got a uh, C grading, uh, just to give you an example, an eco summer tire will be graded A or B, and all season tires, which are called all season tires, which we find in Europe, they are graded between C, E, and even F. So we've got a significant improvement compared to what is currently on the market, both in terms of noise and rolling resistance. So energy efficiency. Good, great, thank you. I see somebody here. <laughs> Bonjour, bonjour à tous. Um, yes, good morning, everybody. Michelin uh, uses competition uh, to uh, develop new tyres. To what extent uh, has car competition racing uh, participated? Well, let's face it, fundamentally speaking, the, the reason for Michelin to be present in uh, competition, it's not because just because we love car racing and valley driving or whatever. Every time we engage and commit to be able to work uh, both upstream and downstream on uh, the development uh, of our tyres research and development. I'm usually this, didn't we, Florent? Well, I can give you two examples in terms of uh, races and competitions we used. The first one was, so it was the Silic uh, tyre, uh, which works in wet conditions. Uh, now, we use that for the, 20, uh, the Le Mans 24 hours. We're the only to have this kind of tyre. Now, to actually understand uh, how a mix will work in these kind of conditions, so cold conditions and wet conditions, and how a tyre behaves, we use that understanding within this tyre. Second, 
Well, is the Formula A uh, in uh, electricity, so we've got a vehicle uh, with the uh, torque uh, conditions, very strong accelerations, and we developed the tyre with a huge grip but with a sculpture, with two extreme conditions. So we developed for competition reasons uh, uh, tyres without sculptures, without the patterns, uh, with a good grip in wet conditions, and also with sculptures in dry conditions. And all this know-how was used for this tyre. Yeah. And uh, this famous uh, Formula AI, uh, which is used, uh, which is one of the closest uh, to uh, the tyre used by general users. Uh, and that's the beauty of this AI uh, formula. And uh, we really wanted to demonstrate our ability. And uh, your question is particularly relevant there. So we've got a practical demonstration here. Yes. Got another question here. Just a question about the sculptures and the patterns of the tyre. Is it closer to that of a summer tyre or to that of a winter tyre? Or is it a kind of mix here? Excellent question. Jean-Claude, I'll let you answer. Well, a quick answer. Both, of course. It's a merger. You saw it rapidly. rapidly. You can actually see it. You can see the pattern. It's a V pattern uh, to be very uh, straightforward to ensure motricity on the snow. You need uh, uh, to have a, uh, a lateral grip uh, here, which is uh, why you've got that uh, uh, the perpendicular uh, pattern here, but to ensure behavioral qualities, you need uh, uh, the sipes uh, going towards the left and the right. So what you can see, looking at the pattern here, the matricity uh, on uh, snowy roads in, is ensured by the shoulders, and the motricity for dry roads is ensured by the central part uh, of the time. But you'll get all the details during the workshops. You can participate uh, too just afterwards. Our teams are waiting for you, and I hope uh, the weather conditions won't be too bad. But anyway, you'll be able to. We'll be able to go into detail then. Yes, the person over there. Just uh, to from uh, one of your competitors in your past just uh, launched an all-season tyre. Uh, are you sure you're going to be up to par? Aren't you running a bit late? Oh, yes. We're not talking about an all-season tyre here. By the way, that's the main answer. We are not talking about an all-season. You can launch all possible all-season tyre. That will never be the cross climate. The cross climate is the first summer tyre in the world with winter certification. So we are not talking about an all-size and tie. So it's, so it's a unique uh, time slot because we are inaugurating this new tyre segment. Sir. And believe me, with my heart, with my all my passion, this is not an all-season tyre, which is why we're all together here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even bothered asking you to come along here. Now, the cross climate tire is going to enable you to simplify your product range. Well, the simplification of our product range uh, with the cross climate. Well, Florent, do you want to answer? Well, in reality, this product range will be added to our existing product range. We'll be uh, complementing it, and obviously it will depend on to what extent the customers buy into our offer. Obviously, we think that in the future, this type of tyre will take over from other existing product ranges. For the moment, we will be coexisting with other product ranges. So our consumers will have a wide choice here. Sorry, here? You may have a look. Ah, yes, uh, it looks as if we've got a last question here, and then afterwards uh, we'll move on to the workshops here. So you say it's not an all-season tyre. Then you have to compare it with a winter tyre, and you have to compare it with a summer tyre. Um, you, you did those tests probably. How of course. Much, so what's the difference in performance then? for the summer tyre and right. for, the winter, for the winter performance. Okay. 
So this is a very precise question on performance for winter and summer. By the way, you will have all the tests and details immediately after this session, but maybe we can be more precise at that point. Well, regarding the summer performance, first of all, uh, as I stated before, the grading for uh, wet breaking is A. This means that this is the highest level of performance you can uh, find today in Europe. And this is a major difference compared to the so-called uh, old season tires today. First difference. Second point regarding uh, dry braking, dry performance. This is a, a very, very good tire. This tire is providing more or less the same performance as a true summer tire. Regarding winter, there is only one answer possible, 3 PMSF. This uh, tire is uh, responding perfectly well to the current uh, legis legislation in Europe. Exactly. So, please. Yeah. You, on you only gave us the label performance. <laughs> um, there are quite many more things you can, yeah. you can test. Of course. And uh, you don't have a percentage? Uh, of course. So, just after this session, you will have uh, the opportunity to have in-depth uh, discussions with our, our engineers and you will have access to many data. So no if, you, if you have time, hopefully, uh, they are waiting for you <laughs> impatiently <laughs> because they're passionate. So um, you'll have everything. Eh bien, well, si je crois que nous I, I think uh, there aren't any temps. questions uh, voilà, anymore. I'd like to thank you all once ici. again for coming here. Original. It's a bit of an original temps, place, uh, I must say, le, le but that the, it's a kind of uh, a symbol Merci of our passion and our in, uh, innovation uh, here. Ravi. Thank you all for Et being here. Our teams are uh, very excited and are waiting for you, and I'll be with you. And we'll be able to have a chat and talk about other things if you want to. But we will be talking about cross climate, of course. Thank you for your attention. Thank <laughs> you.